Let's start with the most obvious term, dictionary. Let's take a look at this type and try to understand why we might call it a dictionary. In this cell, I've created a dict using the dictionary's literal syntax. I have curly braces, then a key, a colon, and a value. In this example, the keys are strings and the values are strings. This dictionary maps the word one to the word uno, two to dos, and three to tres. I can retrieve one of these mappings from the dictionary using the square bracket syntax. Here, I'm going to look up what one is in Spanish. I cannot look up the dictionary in reverse order. We can think of this as akin to an actual paper dictionary. I can look up terms and get their definitions, but I don't have the ability to look up a definition to get the term. The dictionary goes in only one direction. I may have some key to the dictionary. In Python, that key can be any hashable type. In an actual dictionary, that key is usually an actual word. And what I can look up for that dictionary can be anything. In Python, there is no restriction to what the values of dictionary can be. And in an actual dictionary, the values of the dictionary will be the definitions. If I run this cell, I'll get a key error saying that this key does not exist in this dictionary. As we noted, we cannot look up the contents of the dictionary by values. Notice this is the same error I get if I try to look up an element that is not part of the dictionary. Notice this dictionary has only one, two, and three, and does not have an entry for four. Thus, when I evaluate this cell, I get a key error because the key four does not exist. The most basic syntax for adding an element to the dictionary is what we see in this cell here. I can assign the value, cuatro, to the key four, and look at the contents of my dictionary. As you can see, I've added an entry to this dictionary. If I want, I can remove entries from the dictionary using the del syntax. This code will remove this entry from the dictionary and this entry from the dictionary. As you can see, this type creates a close correspondence between keys and values. Keys can be any hashable type, and we'll discuss what that means later. And values can be any type. We can look up values by key. We can add values for a given key. And we can delete entries by deleting the key, which will delete the corresponding value. 